going on YouTube? KB the trucker checking in with y'all again. So somebody asked me um to show them the Qualcomm, do a video on the Qualcomm first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do. It might seem like a foreign language because you ain't, you know, what I'm saying you ain't using it right now. But it's pretty simple. Ain't much to it. Right now I'm in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm going to head over to New Jersey later on, so I'm getting loaded right now. I figure I'll just go ahead and make this video while I got a little time. Oh. This is the screen you're going to see when you wake your ass up and start your day, all right? This is the main screen. You got your messaging where you got it where your DBL and whoever need to get in touch with you message you. This is helpful at times. Log in. You always keep, stay log in. I don't. I don't never log out. Ain't no real. Unless you put your truck in the shop, then you could go ahead and log out. You got your hours of service. You got your navigation. But this thing right here, don't rely on this solely. I'm telling you, this thing stops working for no reason. Get your ass a loss. Get you one of those. Ram McNally. All right. Remember I told you, don't solely rely on this thing right here. It's good because it gives you location to where the where the truck entrances are. But as far as using it solely as a navigation, you're going to end up lost. Believe that. Performance monitoring, uh, that's pretty much it just monitors and shows how you how you performing in the truck, basically. Whether you're revving your, your RPM too high or idle in the truck too long or whatever the case may be scanning i don't never use that media manager uh, i ain't really got time to watch those videos they got i got so you can see i got 27 messages it's all videos let me show you what it look like all videos and shit uh, i'll be too busy to watch it engine coolant you know uh, i watched a few of them that i felt like real important head placement Headlight replacement. I'm pretty sure I could do that. You know, I'll keep you up on things. Okay, home. Now um, I'm again to the hours messaging. of service, which is the most important thing on the call call. All right, here you go. It's the summary. This is where all your hours at. This is what you need to keep track of. Eight hour rest break. What that is? You can work eight straight hours. Yeah, they loaded me right now, so that's why I'm rocking. But you can't you can't work eight straight hours without taking a 30 minute break. You have to take a 30 minute break, or you're gonna get into violation. You don't want that nonsense. 11 hour driving, self explanatory. You can't drive more than 11 hours a day. They put that in place because you got super truckers out here thinking they could drive for 24 hours on the highway. They wake up in a ditch. Then in jail. So I I can appreciate the level I was driving. Even though sometimes I feel like I drive more than that. Eleven hours, I do eight a day, sit back and relax. Fourteen hour on duty. With that, that is a continuously running clock. It doesn't it never stops. Once you put yourself on duty for the start of the day, it's gonna be rolling. It don't never stop. While I'm doing this video, you're going to see it drop down to 12.38. I'm pretty sure of that. Even though I'm off duty. 70, 70 hour on duty, what that is, you can't work more than 70 hours straight in a 7 day period. So it's important to manage your time wisely. You don't want to keep burning out your, your 14 hour and your 11 hour and then you're going to have to be forced to take a 34-hour reset. What a 34-hour reset is, you're going to have to sit your black ass down, or white ass down, and wait 34 hours before you can get back to the money. So, manage your time wisely. Don't burn out your time. Don't be super trucker. It's not important. I'm going to show you all the clocks. If this shit start working. All over right here. This is how the status. See right now I'm off duty. 
I only drove 14 miles today. Because um, where I picked up at is pretty close to where I parked at. Parked at some bum ass truck stop. They charged me $14 to park. Homeboy come knocked on the window. I, I thought it was, you know, I don't know who I thought it was, but I was ready. He came knock on the damn window talking about I got paid $14. Never again. I used Trucker Path so I could, I could know what's up. That was my fault for not really using that. $14 ain't a big deal, though. It's a principality, though. All right. Back to what I was saying. Um, so I've been sitting here off duty for 44 minutes, man. It's taking a while to load your boy. Trying to get moving. I started my day at 8.35. Right now it's 9.19. And pretty much, it's, you can see, it's so smart story. I took my last 34-hour reset on the 10th. It ended on the 10th, 3 in the morning. That's when I went home for a little day. Hours to be game right now is zero. By next week, Wednesday, I'll start picking up hours. You start gaining hours. All right? This is the clock. I don't really never really pay attention to this screen too much. But that's what it looked like. Showing you your hours. I got eight hours available. My eight hour rest break is all good. Cause I've been sitting here for a minute. Driving. So yeah, I got ten hours, thirty eight minutes. On duty. You see same thing pretty much that was on the other screen. So you got a graph. This is pretty much like the paper graph. I meant the paper um time logs. But just electronically, we ain't got to draw the lines and everything. It shows you what it look like. What else we got on here? Yo, listen, man. It, it might look like a foreign language to you right now, but it's all simple shit, truthfully. And this one, the eight days, it showed you how many hours you drove, your mileage. You see that? Oh, your boy went hard on the 7th. 500. Seven miles, drove for nine hours. That was because I was trying to get my ass home. I was rolling. That's the most miles I ever drove in a day in this slow-ass truck. So, you can go ahead and work. Well, that's it, It's pretty simple, man. Yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Ain't, ain't really too much. Ain't really complicated. Once you get on there, once you start driving, get out here and start driving, you see how simple it is. You just gotta keep track of your hours. If you want to stay rolling, want to, you know, you don't want to be sitting down for no 34-hour reset all the time. Just don't burn out your time. That's it. That's what I do. Take my time. Drive six hours, sometimes eight. Only that one day I did that nine hours because I was trying to get home. Like I said, simple shit.